Hello everybody, I'm Slash from DC and this is Vulture from Netta. I'm playing with Nymeria from her channel Nimcraft. Hi Nymeria. Hello Slash. And I am playing the role of Melville, the Ryoshi. No, the Ryoshu. Experience level 15 on dungeon level 19, the bottom level of the quest. I am uh, on the verge of making my way to the center of this quest maze to fight the uh, quest nemesis and get my quest artifact. And if I have to say quest one more time, nah, I'm okay with it. So anyway, got my towel on so I can see the enemies with my improvision. I'm going to take that off so I can see the whoop, so I can see the walls. Remove the towel for a moment, and let's walk around here. Checking for traps. I'm going very slowly. It is drawing out the length of my episodes by a bit. Oh, magic missile. What was that potion that I picked up? Whatever it was, it's not worth an item burden at this point. I guarantee it. Potion called Dizzy and say no. No. I'm going to drink a speed potion again. So I am... Uh, Invisible and fast at this time. Which will hopefully prevent me from getting a care of, of sleep potion broken over my head again. That was the scariest moment so far. Uh, this guy does really good melee damage, but not good enough. I think he's going to go down. A mysterious force prevents him from teleporting. He tries to read his scroll of teleport. And uh, let's be honest, he didn't really have a chance there. There's a ninja here, dead. Oh, hello, wolf. Uh, what is this here? Create monster, scroll of teleport. Wand of magic missile. Definitely want the wand of magic missile. Um, I'm going to take all of it. It's not as heavy as that potion, so I'm still within my uh, item burden. And I am feeling like any minute I'm going to see the quest leader, who I think is right here. Um... I'm going to kill that wolf. I'm going to zap my wand of light. Hopefully get a view of the interior here. Yeah. Also being attacked by an invisible stalker. Okay. So I'm guessing if I was to put my towel on. Oh, I'm so that, nervous. That I've got a perfect line of sight right at the quest leader through this break. That's unless true, there's a wall you, right here. Yeah. Right. So let's check. And I may just shoot something at him. Oop, let me close something. Okay. Um... I may shoot something at him and just never have to get close to him. Him and his legendary sword. Ah, you know what? I'll bet he's too far away. Uh, that and I bet there's a wall in between. It kind of looks that way, doesn't it? So the invisible stalkers are gathering. You vultures came to this party a little too early. Wolf is fleeing for no reason. I guess because I'm invisible. Maybe he doesn't know exactly where I'm at, so he kind of dodged off to the side there. Invisible stalker can't cut the mustard. As I walk in here, I've got my towel still on so that I get that infravision or telepathy. There we go. Yeah, okay. There's definitely a wall here, so our search for the center continues. Where do you think you're going? Oh, because I'm invisible. You don't know where I am, do you? I'm sorry for you. Um... So I'm using my search key now to see the walls. Oh my goodness. Because I want very badly to know where that quest leader is at all times. Not to mention those uh, Ryoshu are kind of scary. I kind of like to know where they are at all times also. Now, did he step on a trap? Is that why there's rocks here? I don't know. It's hard to say. I had been thinking that those stalkers were walking through walls, but now I'm not sure. Um, how they got behind me, I'm curious. Okay, well, I just found out the hard way whether it was a trap. I stepped on it. It wasn't. So no worries. Ninja's getting insta-killed by me right now. Hey, a blank scroll? No, probably not. I'm going to remove my... Uh... Yeah. So it's a scroll I haven't identified yet. Garvin Day. I'm surprised to still be finding those, but... You really uh, haven't identified many I scrolls. guess I haven't. I've got it in my head that I have. Yeah. And, uh, but I really have You keep saying that, but you've picked up, I mean, you've only identified, like, oh, okay, he was right next to that guy, so. Oh, 
Yep. There you go. Now I wonder uh, if we're lined up at this time. He's in direct line like this. Well, all you can do is step over, take off your thing. I can zap something I know will bounce. It won't be death, but I think there's no way he can get to me right away through these wolves. So let's zap something like magic missile in this direction. Yeah, he's in line. It's, okay, zap him with death. Yep, so we're looking at the magic missile hits the quest leader, his name, very difficult to say. You hear a nearby zap. The wand hits this guy. The wand misses the wolf. So he zapped another wand, I guess. But anyway, death will fix all of their wagons, I think. Show me my death choices here. Not lightning, even though it's my favorite, but death itself. Um, where is it? Why can't I see it? Right here. Okay. Wand of death. <sighs> you kill Ashkaga Takuji with one shot of the death wand. Your healing skills tell you that Ashtanga Takuchi's wounds are mortal. You know that the Bushido tells you to finish him and let his cam or kami die with honor, but the thought of so many samurai dead due to his this man's dishonor prevents you from giving the final blow. You order that his unwashed head be given to the crows and his body thrown into the sea. Wow, you're kind of nasty. Wow, yeah, that was hardcore thing to do. He's dead. That leaves two of these guys who... I think you can take your blindfold off. By all rights, I don't think they should be able to kill me. I'm going to save a death charge, though, for, uh, you know... Just in case. Just in case. But I'm going to hit these guys with lightning, I think. Okay. Uh, I don't see why not. I just don't want to do any more fighting right now. Enough people have fought today, but not enough people have died. Okay. Hey, that one guy, you see how that says uh, the bolt of lightning hits the Ryoshu, the bolt of lightning hits the Kuniyoshi? Yeah! He, I'll bet he's the next level up. There's the Ryoshu that I'm used to fighting. This you guy. You keep hitting him. Yeah, I'm going to hit him with another lightning wand. I mean, anything that can survive a blast from a lightning wand deserves another blast, in my humble opinion. Let's let him have it again. This is what you call giving, it, giving them both barrels. So the bolt of lightning hits... Ah, he is zapping lightning at me now. Or he's wearing reflection. Or he's wearing reflection. That's a good point. Could be why he survived death and lightning. You uh, may have to actually be. hit him. Let's step inside and find out. Oh, wow. You were lucky. Look at that. You're lined up through a door. Yeah. I was using my... Uh-huh. My... Give it a name. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it was, I was using it. So there's the bell of opening. Dun, dun, dun. Who's this guy? Peaceful Tango, of course. He just, like, shows up. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> He's been following you through the levels. I hear you're down here now. Oh, my God. <laughs> I am carrying the bell of opening. You are carrying the doll of opening. Let me ask you something. Where is my quest artifact? Um, I don't know. Is it in the box when you go back up to your master? No, because I was supposed to recover the quest artifact. So it must be somewhere in this room. Uh, how heavy is the bell of opening, I'm wondering? Probably under tools. Not that heavy. Not that heavy. Um, you're just carrying a lot of stuff. Carrying a lot of stuff. I really am carrying more stuff than I need to be, probably. I don't need that potion of healing. It's all your perhaps. wands that's doing it to you. Yeah, each one weighs seven. Um, I could zap that wand of light and drop it. I think I'm done with it. That should help. Now I'll drop it. Having a look. So he has stepped away. That's why now I'm looking to see... Okay, so the quest leader's corpse is actually right here. Okay. How did that happen? Did he crawl away from the point where he died? Or Probably, while well, they cut his head off. 
Nope. There it is. Oh. The Tsurigi name, the Tsurigi of Muramasa. Which is a completely decent weapon. I've heard that it like, but it's a two-handed weapon, so you've got a you can't do the dual wielding thing I'm doing. Yeah. You do have the five percent chance to insta kill any monster, but anyway, I'm definitely you got to pick it up and bring it back to your quest leader anyway. Skull teleport, I'll take it. Wand of lightning, I will most definitely take it. Apparently, as you pick up the Sergi of Muramasa, you feel the strength of its karma. You realize at once why so many good samurai had to die to defend it. You are humbled, knowing that you hold one of the artifacts of the Sun Goddess. I am humbled. <laughs> oh no. I picked it up. I picked up a scroll of teleport, but there's something I didn't pick up. Oh, the Wand of Lightning, because my knapsack won't accommodate any more items. <laughs> Alright, let's put some stuff into the bag of holding then. Which ought to lighten my burden a bit. Um, let's put away. I've got six scrolls of teleport now. Yeah, I think you can put away all your scrolls. It's crazy clown time. Yeah, let's put away those right there. This one, uh, that I don't think I need. I'm gonna keep it out just in case. Uh, one healing potion. I'll keep that one out. You and can probably put away two. A striking wand, a digging wand, um, your invisible wand. You could drop your invisible wand. Yes, I will drop it because I no longer will ever need to make anything. You create monster can here. go in your bag. Um, see, one of your magic missiles is out of things, but I don't know which. Look at all those invisible ones. Yeah, I'll drop those. I actually will probably drop the wand of bling. I don't know. That was kind of nice to have on this level. I'll just put it in your bag. There's a wand of striking. I'm gonna keep the cold out just in case I need another attack wand as on my way out of here. Uh, that'll help. And I guess we'll put the bell of opening. Can, ooh, can the bell of opening be put inside the bag of holding? I would think so, right? I don't know why not, but why risk it? Why risk it? Exactly. I'll put the diamond away. Okay. Now, I'm not getting any messages I'm being attacked, so I'm going to drop some of these wands that are totally not worth keeping around. Make invisible, don't need it anymore. Make invisible, don't need it anymore. Make invisible, don't need it anymore. And I want a light I'm holding on to. That's it. Did that get my burden off? No. But it did get my knapsack open where I can pick up this wand of lightning. An object better not... Uh, allowed for others to have it anyway. So, there we go. Hey, there's a silver dagger there too. What's that doing there? Huh, that's kind of neat. I want that in my weapon collection. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm ready to get out before one of these Ryoshu surprises me and kills me. And I am just left to sit there and say, how did that happen? I was so close. Or whatever. I don't know how these things go. I can eat a ration, which will also take some weight off. There we go. Invisible stalker. Wolf. No worries. No worries, no worries. You know that one, that sword you just picked up does more damage than Frostbrand. It does? Yeah. Really? Yeah, um, Frostbrand does D5 to hit. Um, it doubles against non fire resistant monsters. Damage to non fire resistant monsters. I don't understand that. Does it give you fire resistance? I doubt it. Wield him? I believe it does. That would be why those fire monsters aren't hurting you. So it may be worth carrying around just for that. But the Tsurugi of Murumasa is a long sword that gives you D8 damage plus a 5% chance to insta kill. Hmm. But, now I'm going to interrupt with this thought. It's a sword which requires the two weapon skill. Uh, two weapon skill, right? Not that I see. No, it's just a long sword. It is a long sword. Yeah, just a long samurai sword. 
I'll double check that fact. While you're battling for your life here. A gray elf. <sighs> wow. It's got some nice stuff. It's a double edged long sword. Let's see. It does use your two handed Yeah, weapon skill. So isn't that what you've been leveling up? Not two handed, but two weapon. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So I've got some I'm like uh skilled in longsword and expert in two weapon but I am unskilled in two-handed sword. Look so. here, uh, Sanford and Son. Why don't you stop picking stuff? <laughs> I'm a hoarder. I'm hoarding. Uh, okay. Yeah, you just need to get the heck out of here because there are some Ronin waiting to kick your butt. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's your dog. There's my dog. Now that I have the bell of opening in my hand, I suddenly barely care about any other object I could possibly pick up, even though I know, of course, I'm still going to need a lot of stuff. Like what? But just whatever I need to get me through the castle on Gehenna at this point. Okay, there we go. Potions of blindness, I'll always know if I need to make holy water and I feel like coming down here and spending a bunch of time on it. <laughs> I can right. come through here, pick the potions back up. Uh, Get away. That looked like a water creature. Yeah, just just keep moving. Yeah. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Have you ever seen that movie? Finding Nemo. Uh, no. I don't even know what to say to that. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk to this guy and I'm going to wrap it up. I'm curious what he has to say. Here we go. As you bow before Lord Sato, he welcomes you. You have brought your family great honor, Melville San. While you have been gone, the emperor advis advisors have discovered in the ancient texts that the karma of the samurai who seeks to recover the amulet and the karma of the Sergi of Muramasa are joined as the seasons join to make a year. Because you have such fidelity, the emperor requests that you take leave of other obligations and continue on the road that fate has set your feet upon. I would consider it an honor if you would allow me to watch your household unit. Oh. <laughs> Watch your household until you return with the amulet. With that, Lord Sato bows and places his sword atop the Tsurgi of Muramasa. And so, NetHack noobs, I have not won the game. Can you not get into that chest now? I can. You really want to see that? I was going to wrap it up right there, but that's fine. Let's see. No, I think I have to come back. Oh, Lord Sato bows. Melville son, tell us of your search for the amulet. So now, whenever I come back and talk to the quest leader, he'll ask me how it's going looking for the amulet of Gendor. But you can never get into that chest he's standing on? I'm sure at some point I can. I don't know how to do it right now, though. Alright. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to click him? Peaceful Lord Sato? How about if I chat with him? Let's see what he says. There you go. There, now he moved. Uh-huh. Okay. And if I open the chest, it appears to be locked. And if I unlock it, right in front of him, like, hey, I'm getting into this chest. Well, what's he going to say? You just killed the biggest, baddest mofo in the town. Right. Oh, There's a food ration wow. in there. You know what, uh, Lord Sato? I am really trying to quit. So I'm going to leave that food ration <laughs> in there for you and your Ryoshu. Um of whom I am one. And continue my quest for the amulet at another time. Thanks everybody for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And 
We'll see you next time. Bye.